Hey guys, it's Ricky, Dave, and your man Jay Newsom here down in Sydney for four days, and uh, we're gonna bring you a real life stock review. Yes, strap in, it's gonna be amazing. Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again. It's Thursday with another real life stock review. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Uh, Jeremy and I and David are all down in Sydney, so if you guys are here, make sure you guys hop on Twitter, hop on Instagram, hop on Facebook, any social media, whatever it is, get in touch with us and we would love to meet you guys. But let's take a look at the markets, what happened in the, in the markets today, all odds, not doing a whole lot. Check out this beautiful high wave doji candle right here. Looking amazing at the 100 simple. You guys have heard me talk about this before saying this is a buy the dip opportunity. Look to buy off the 100. We did get a very nice hammer candle last time before and it just looks superb. So stay long on the markets guys. We are going higher. Let's take a look at a couple of mineral companies. Take a look at PLS. Pilbara Minerals, and as you can see, we are gaining some strength on the daily, on the weekly chart, still below the long-term moving averages, but look at this phenomenal candle right here. We are gaining some volume, and on the monthly chart, what's interesting about this is, bingo bango, we are bouncing off the 100 on the monthly chart. So you have spoken, you have heard, heard me speak about this before, guys, that this is a very nice buying location, and uh, yeah, so if you are looking at look, if you are looking to buy some shares of PLS, this is a great dip buying opportunity. Let's take a look at NCM Newcrest Mining, and we are pulling back just a little bit on the monthly chart, but on the daily chart, we are slowly bouncing, coming down to the 200. This is in line with gold, guys. Gold was coming down a little bit, was consolidating a little while, but remember we are probably going to start breaking out soon. So look for a little bit more consolidation. We do have some beautiful volume coming in right here and uh, look to find a long opportunity on NCM. Let's take a look at your favorite APT, Afterpay and, oh, that's Alpha Protect. APT, here we go. And look at this phenomenal candle, guys. We have got a close below the 100. Um, and I did state uh, a few weeks ago that we would most likely get a cute little double bottom or at least a nice little consolidation at this level. Uh, this, has been, this has been on a very bullish trend. Most likely will trade sideways for a little longer. If we can, you know, make the 200 catch up, that would be a much better opportunity to go long. But after pay, beautiful pullback. If you are in long-term shares, Stay long. Let's take a look at some commodities, US oil or crude oil coming down, coming down to my target buy entry. This was a beautiful double bottom. Obviously, if we do close very strongly below this neckline right here, uh, I would be a little bit more bearish and probably wait until about 52 to buy. Um, but we are slowing down. The trend is still fairly neutral, but try to stay long on oil, guys. Uh, this is a very nice dip buying opportunity. Let's take a look at gold, G-O-L-D, and look at the last three days that we've had, guys. We are getting some bullishness, 100 simples coming in, and we are getting some beautiful consolidation and beautiful bounce action. We still are at this resistance level here at about 15, 20, and I do expect us probably to chop around sideways a little longer, but remember, guys, buy low, sell high. And last but not least, we want to take a look at the Aussie dollar. And guys, you probably remember me saying back here, we are going to create a higher high and then we will probably look to go short. So look here, we have a beautiful, beautiful high wave candle right here, shaping up, getting a lot of people trapped and uh, I'm definitely looking to take this thing short, probably with an entry below here and a stop above here would suffice. So keep that in mind guys. I'm going to I'm going to hop this uh, mic over to Jeremy and he's going to take over and look over at the US market. Thanks for watching. Ricky, what a outrageously incredible review that was. Let me just pop over from the Aussie dollar US which I'm benefiting from right now being down here in Australia at a good spot where the dollar is pretty strong against the Aussie currency. 
Loving that, but there is a little bit of a double bottom coming in, so expect maybe some ground to be caught up here longer term. All right, first and foremost, we're checking out the Pinterest, P-I-N-S, and I know many of you realize that I am in bullish and have bullish positions on Pinterest. However, earnings were around the corner, and since it is a longer term investment with earnings coming up, the last earnings on Pinterest had a really nice gap up. The one before that had a nice gap down, and Pinterest is down splendidly. It doesn't show right now, but it's around 20. So let me pull up the hourly chart, and there it is, 20 bucks. So before earnings, most of the traders I was mentioning, you would want to consider getting into a 20 or uh, $20 November put over earnings. Pinterest is coming out to be a really great stock for straddles and strangles because it does gap very nicely. So most likely my plan will be to consider selling those puts to close tomorrow at open, let Pinterest fade up into old support and new resistance, roll over into the teens like I talked about yesterday, and then start looking to, again, buy the dip longer term. Long term accumulating Pinterest right now, and I agree, it looks weak, so let's just be patient on this one. Facebook having a fantastically wonderful gap up. It did run into a resistance at 197.40. This is the weekly chart, and this is the weekly resistance that you can see on Facebook. What's really unique and fun to consider on Facebook is you had a strong bullish gap and go that just did not go. What I'm personally waiting for on Facebook, not saying it's going to happen, but just going to keep a very, very close eye, is a little bit of a wick down here and then some buying off of 190 for a trade higher. If it happens, I'll be pretty elated and I will be looking at picking up some shares on Facebook and then turning around and selling a covered call. Also a possibility, buying it off the 200 simple if it does not bounce. So if it breaks lower, we're gonna get some very fast, steep selling on Facebook. Two or three more, here's Netflix, NFLX, and Netflix, I did have a bearish setup on it, but it did not trigger. In fact, it uh, actually went the exact opposite direction. So Netflix bouncing, trading sideways, hanging out, doing its thing, nothing too crazy to see right now. Apple, of course, threw in a really nice gap. Does have a nice lower shadow, but this is a not an accurate wick. If you go to a 15 minute chart, you can kind of see that wick is not really there. So we did have a good gap up on Apple, and the crazy thing is, folks, at this point, why not? Why not just go higher? Hard to call the top. I know many people are in some shares and some covered calls on Apple. We will see. If you get called away at 250, which is most likely my scenario, I'll be selling some 230 puts for December or January on Apple. And last but not least, the Tesla machine. TSLA retesting. It's going to hang out down here for a while, kind of consolidate. You had a wonderfully delicious gap up on Tesla. So my plan personally is to keep a really close eye on these weekly long-term moving averages and just expect Tesla to eventually pull back down into those prices. And again, looking at buying the dip. Remember my friends, if you have any stock requests, get at me, either an Australian stock or a US stock. Ricky, myself, and potentially the Algo Master, Mr. David Podvin, will be checking out those stocks over the next two weeks. And then I'll be back on the, in the States on November 17th, and the schedule will return as normal. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here. You are incredible. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.